Hello, and welcome back to my basement. Today we're going to be taking a look at some PLA filament from Rigid Ink. Let's get right into it. Welcome back. So like I said, today we're looking at Rigid Ink, a filament supplier from the UK. Their filament came to me in this lovely package. It's white with purple foil, and it makes a really, really nice first impression. I ordered a free sample of PLA from their website, which anybody can do. Inside that package was the Ziploc bag with the PLA in it and a little bit of desiccant. And this card, which has some information about uh, how to contact them with feedback about the sample and their catalog, and on the back, some information about how to get the best prints you can using their filament and much to my amusement lastly there was a bag of Haribo gold bears I can't chew them quite yet I'm still recovering from wisdom tooth surgery but I will have them soon and uh, thank you to Rigid Ink for being awesome so the big question is did it print the answer in my case was sort of let's take a closer look So, here we are. This is the reference 3D Benchy that I printed in Red Hatchbox PLA. You can orbit around it here as you can see. I set up a little photo studio uh, based on a Creative Tools file from Thingiverse and uh, took some photographs from all angles of this boat. And you can see that the print came out all right. Um, there is some definite noticeable issues up here with the bridging over the top of the cabin you can see some li little bit of layer disturbances there and uh, the oh yes some layer disturbances here too right here and right up here the biggest one was actually over here um, there was a big seam along the uh, hull here unfortunately but all in all the print came out all right you can see that the uh, the little pipe in the back there came out really nice I was very impressed by that. Um, I did not photograph the top or bottom, but they also came out quite nice. And yes, the Hatchbox Banshee was okay. I feel like it could be better with some settings tweaking, but it was alright. Now let's move on to my first attempt at the Rigid Ink Benchy. Unfortunately, the print failed partway through. Um, and I found out why later, but... To put it shortly, the uh, the print did not complete, and there was this awful artifacting happening up here. And uh, the same was true of my second attempt. Um, you can see the smokestack didn't even print. Uh, it <laughs> broke off into a ball of filament partway through. Um, but you can see this really horrible layer splitting going on in the model here. And uh, the Hatchbox Benji didn't do that. And at first I thought that it was just the the filament being bad, but it turns out it was actually my fault. I had my retraction settings dialed badly. Now by this point I had printed two 3D Benchies and didn't have enough filament to make a third. So I unfortunately couldn't do more experimenting, but I will be buying a roll of Rigid Ink filament to do more uh tweaking and seeing if I can get better results than what I got in this short experiment. So there you have it. This is how the 3D Benchy fared when printed in Rigid Ink PLA. Unfortunately, I didn't do it the best job of making it work, but uh, there will definitely be a follow-up video in which I go into some more detail about uh, how to get the settings figured out just right for my printer and uh, other people who might have the same machine. Although I didn't have enough filament left to make another 3D Benchy, I did have enough to make this. This is my Maker Coin in the yellow Rigid Ink PLA and it came out really nice, which stands as a testament to the filament being good and my settings being bad. So, that concludes my first pass at my review of Rigid Ink's filament. I think it's going to be a really nice filament once I get my settings worked out, but in the interim, unfortunately, I have a bunch of broken 3D Benchies. <laughs> I'll see you next time.